Please read us a story on there. We'll all gather round. Dear old man, sit in your favorite chair. We'll sit all around, all around, dear old man. It was Little Bear's birthday, and the toys were all lying around, full of birthday cake and tired after a very long game of musical cushions. That was a lovely birthday tea, said Little Bear. I wonder what we can do now. It's time to give you your birthday present, said Old Bear. Bramwell has just gone to fetch it. Little Bear jumped to his feet. Oh, how exciting, he squeaked. Where is it? Just then, Bramwell returned, pushing the basket on wheels, with a sausage-shaped parcel sticking out of the top. Here you are, he said. Happy birthday, little bear. It's a funny shape, cried little bear. I can't guess what it is. Bramwell lifted the parcel out of the basket and placed it on the floor. Thank you very much, said little bear. Can I open it now, please? Of course, laughed old bear. Little Bear unwrapped the end of the parcel, then slowly pulled out something long. It's a stick, he said. There's more, said Bramwell. Little Bear reached into the parcel and pulled out another stick. Two sticks! They fit together, said Old Bear. Little Bear pushed one stick onto the other. Oh, it's a fishing rod! And this must be the fishing line, he added pulling out a long piece of string. I think I've caught something already, he laughed, and he gave the string a sharp tug. All of a sudden, everything else in the parcel slipped out at Little Bear's feet. What is it? he cried. Can't you guess? laughed Old Bear. It's a tent. Little Bear jumped up and down with excitement. A real tent for me. Of course it's for you, said Duck. It's your birthday present. But it's what I've always wanted, cried Little Bear. That's what we thought, said Old Bear. Why has it got fishing rods with it? asked Little Bear. Those aren't fishing rods, explained Old Bear. They're tent poles. Can I camp tonight in the garden, please? begged Little Bear. Not on your own, said Old Bear. I'll go too, said Rabbit. I've never been camping. It will be really fun. Oh, please, old bear, cried little bear. Let us sleep in the tent. It is my birthday. All right, sighed old bear. But I'll come and help you put the tent up. It isn't easy the first time. Can we go now, asked little bear. I think you'll need to pack a few other things first, said Bramwell. Let's go and see what we can find. Soon, everyone was helping to prepare for the birthday camp. Little Bear fetched his pyjamas and a nightshirt for Rabbit. Bramwell and Duck were packing a parcel of leftover party food for the campers. Rabbit was making sleeping bags out of two small eiderdowns by sewing them down the side and along the bottom. And Old Bear had found two rucksacks and was packing things inside. Finally, Bramwell handed Little Bear a torch. You'll need this, he said. It's dark outside at night. Little Bear thanked Bramwell and pushed the torch inside the rolled up sleeping bag. Then Rabbit helped him to slip his paws through the straps. But when he let go, Little Bear promptly fell over backwards. It's a bit heavy, he said, struggling to stand up. I'll take a few things out. A little later, with their rucksacks much lighter, Little Bear and Rabbit were ready to go. Good night, everyone called Little Bear. We'll see you in the morning. When they arrived in the garden, Old Bear found a nice smooth area of lawn. This will be a good place for the tent, he said. There are no lumps and bumps. With Rabbit and Little Bear's help, Old Bear began to unpack the tent. I'll put the poles together, said Little Bear. I know how they go. When the poles were ready, Old Bear poked them through the holes in the top of the tent and lifted it up. Then Rabbit pushed the tent pegs into the ground, and Little Bear hammered them down with a mallet. Finally, Old Bear tightened the guy ropes. There you are, he said. I don't think that will fall down in the night. 
It's lovely, cried Little Bear, pushing his sleeping bag into the tent. I want to go to bed now. I think you ought to get into your pyjamas first, laughed Old Bear, as Rabbit followed Little Bear into the tent. Now I'm going back to the house, and I'll see you in the morning. Sleep well. As soon as Old Bear had gone, Rabbit and Little Bear finished changing into their night clothes and climbed in their sleeping bags. Mmm, said Rabbit, snuggling down. It's lovely in here. But we've forgotten to bring the things in from outside. I'll go and get them, said Little Bear. Still in his sleeping bag, he slithered out of the tent and bounced across the grass. It's like a sack race, he laughed as he jumped up and down. Suddenly, the end of the bag caught one of the tent pegs. It flew through the air and the tent collapsed, right on top of Rabbit. Help! he cried. Got me out! I can't see you, called Little Bear. Where's the way in? If I knew that, I'd come out of it, came the muffled reply. Can you pull the poles back up? At last, Little Bear managed to find a guy rope. He gave it a big pull and slowly the heap of cloth and poles became tent-shaped again. Phew, said Rabbit, poking his head out. That's better. Little Bear hammered in the tent pick. I can hardly see what I'm doing now. I think it must be night time. He wriggled into the tent next to Rabbit. This is cosy, he said. Shall we go to sleep now? I think that's a good idea, said Rabbit. Good night, Little Bear. Good night, Rabbit. There was silence for a moment or two. Then, Rabbit, said Little Bear. Hmm, said Rabbit. I'm a bit hungry said Little Bear. So am I, said Rabbit. Bramwell packed some of the party food, but I don't know where it is, and it's dark. Do you know where the torch is? Oh, I don't think we've got one, said Little Bear sadly. I, I took it out when my rucksack was too heavy. Well, we'll just have to use the light from the stars then, said Rabbit, peeping outside. Little Bear joined him, and they both stared up at the night sky. They're quite bright, aren't they? said Little Bear. That one is, said Rabbit, and it seems to be getting brighter. And bigger, and bigger, said Little Bear. Help! It's going to fall on top of us, he cried. Suddenly, the bright light landed right in front of them, and they saw that it wasn't a star after all. Yoo-hoo, came a familiar voice. Happy birthday, Little Bear. It's Hoot, cried Little Bear. We thought you were a star. Why are you carrying a light? It's a lantern, explained Hoot, and it's your birthday present from me. I thought it might be useful as you're camping. Oh, it is, cried Little Bear. Thank you, Hoot. You see, we put our food down somewhere and haven't got a torch to look for it. <laughs> then it's lucky I dropped in, laughed Hoot. And I've something else for you, she added pulling out a tiny bundle and placing it in front of Little Bear. Carefully, he untied the parcel, and there was the smallest birthday cake he'd ever seen. Oh, it's lovely, cried Little Bear. It's just my size. Well, I'm afraid I slept through your birthday party, said Hoot, so I thought we'd have a little extra one tonight. And I can see Bramble's food parcel now, said Rabbit, in the light from the lantern. The toys opened the packet and tucked into the delicious leftover party food. And when they'd eaten it all, they finished the feast with pieces of the tiny birthday cake. Well, I thought this birthday couldn't get any better, said Little Bear, but it just goes on and on. And when will it ever end, he added happily. In a few minutes, I think, said Hoot. It's long past your bedtime. Now get back into your sleeping bags and snuggle down. We will, said Little Bear, yawning. Good night, Hoot. And he followed Rabbit back into the tent. Hoot stayed nearby. Very soon, by the light of the lantern, she could see that the two tired campers were fast asleep.